<laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Alright. So, this part's going to technically be ignored. And let's integrate it. So we would get this to the what power now? Over here we really have a 3 over 2, right? Then we would get x squared plus 2 to the, if we add 1, 3 over 2 times 2 over 3 plus the c, which actually becomes what? These guys cancel out? Woo! So we get x squared plus 2 to the 3 over 2 plus c. Is that easier? Sort of, kind of? Yeah? Try the next one. You recognize the pattern. Does this one have the license? Ah, otro con permit without the license driver. Okay, so the license should have been what? 3x squared, but I only have what? x squared. So we need to add a 3, right? And if I add a 3 there, I need to put a one-third on the outside to cancel it out, so technically I have the same problem. And now I fixed it so that it works out nice for me. Right? So integrate that bad boy. One-third parentheses will get x to the third plus one to the three over two times two over three plus c. One times two is two. What's 3 times 3, Monse? 9, very good, times x to the 3rd plus 1 to the 3 over 2 plus c. Sometimes people tell me that this is what? 6. Be careful. Okay? If you did, it wouldn't matter, it would still be a constant. How about this last one over here? Move it to the top first? Alright, so let's rewrite it. So we've got the integral of 3x times 2x squared plus 3 to the what power? Negative half? Alright, so. Let me see your license. What should it be? 4x. Oh, wrong license. Got 3x, right? Wrong state. Sorry, McLovin. This is in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys know McLovin? Yeah. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's take that 3 out. And we want to make it a what, you said? A 4? Alright. So now I fixed it so that it does have the correct license, but what do I have to put on the outside? Times 1 over 4, right? So that really makes it 3 fourths on the outside, right? So now I have 3 over 4, and what's going to be my integral over here, because we're going to ignore these guys because it fit the pattern, or it made it fit the pattern. So add 1, so we get 2x squared plus 3 to the half. Divided by half, which is really times what? Times 2 plus the C. So what do we end up with over here? 3 over 2 times 2x squared plus 3 to the half plus C. What do you think? Is this cool? Makes it your life a little bit easier? Yeah. What's up? Why is it 1 4 times there was a 3 there, so I took the 3 out, and then I replaced it with a 4. But I have to put a 1 fourth out here, so the 1 fourth times the 4 will cancel out. And it goes back to being this problem. So then this 3 times that 1 fourth makes it 3 fourths. Cool? Okay? Yeah. Alright, so, just a, a couple of little shortcuts and little tricks for you to use. Right? There's going to be some problems where that doesn't happen, where you can't do it. You just have to go straight up and do use up. Right? So for example, um, let me see. Yeah. So for example, let's say I have the integral of x times the square root of 3x plus 1 dx. Right? So does this fit the pattern? 
what would be the license that would be required? Three. I don't have a three there, I have an X there. Okay, so in this particular problem, there's no way around it. I'm going to have to use the change of variable. You're going to have U is 3X plus 1, right? And then DU is 3. So it's, you've got to add that one third there, but I still have to replace this guy. Right? So remember that we need to solve for X here. So X would be U minus 1 over 3, and that's what I could plug in there and I'll work it out from there. So there's going to be some cases where it's unavoidable. You have to do it the old-fashioned way with U substitution. Remember, if something doesn't go away, you need to change the variables. Everything has to be in terms of U. Good? All right. There are some like those on your assignments. Yeah? Any questions? All right. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow we'll do uh, integrals of natural logs. The following day we'll do integrals of the natural exponential functions, e to the x, which are also easy. And then the next day we'll do integrals of exponential functions where the base is not e, where it's some number. Like 5 to the x, or 20 to the x. Okay? And then that'll be it for this week. Next week we'll start strong and work with differential equations. And then we'll go with exponential growth. Yeah, this is day 60, but you're going to put part what? Part B. Extra? So make sure you label that part B, because it was supposed to be done on the same day, but it didn't work out. Sounds good? Keep coming to tutorials. All right? Because it's looking like we're going to finish right before that first week of May.